How's it going friends? Hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 on our insane series with permadeath and this is episode number 6. You join me on the morning of day 10. The rest of day 9 was spent down in the mines getting some materials ready so that we can get our base up and improved for the day 14 horde. But I figured we've been sitting on this quest for a couple of days now so we may as well actually pop along and do it. Before we do though, I've just noticed there's a couple of zombies kind of lurking. Let me just take care of these guys. Excuse me sir, I'm trying to do an intro over here. I know you're just kind of wandering and this technically is your home I guess, but still I kind of the only survivor here now. I kind of run this place. Uh, maybe you didn't get the message, I'm not sure. Let me go and take care of this nurse as well. Excuse me nurse, hello. You don't happen to have any antibiotics on you by any chance do you? I'm really sick, we're at 41%. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay, fine. I'll shoot you in the back of the head then. Uh, yeah, basically, the only thing that's keeping me alive right now is occasionally when you chop up those little tree stumps, you get a jar of honey. And uh, without those, I feel like I'd have been long dead by now. But anyway, we've got to find some supplies in this place. And I figured it looked like a cool place to kind of loot. So I thought we'd start the episode by doing this. Of course, it's day 10, which means the trader will have been reset. Did we just... We just nearly fell through the bridge. That could have been really bad. Uh, and hopefully there'll be an airdrop today, so maybe we will actually manage to find those antibiotics that we so desperately need. What's the chances we will find some in a cave? I guess only time will tell. So at the minute, I'm kind of recording this one straight after the last episode. Uh, so I haven't really seen any sort of feedback from it as of yet, but the last episode we did do was a bit of a one-shot, I guess. Uh, mainly because I'm a bit pressed for time. Uh, because of work and stuff this week so this is kind of going to be a little similar not completely the same i'm going to kind of cut some things out and try and keep it uh entertaining and uh one thing i've again i feel like i've mentioned it every single episode and i'll probably sound like a broken record by now but i am so happy with uh, how this series is going when you've got a channel my size and you're first starting out you don't expect obviously hundreds and hundreds of views and clearly that's uh, not going to happen overnight but Honestly, if one person watches any video that I've done, then I am genuinely over the moon. That first episode, last time I checked, was around about 60 views, which again, I'm very happy with. Uh, we've had a few new subs I've mentioned a few times since starting the series, so I just want to say again a massive thank you uh, if you have subscribed to the channel or liked the video or anything like that. Genuinely does uh, mean a lot to uh, channels my size. And uh, yeah, I'm just really enjoying this series. I feel like all I want to do at the moment is kind of play this game. And, and I go through patches like that with this game where i just i'm really heavily invested in it and kind of want to play it all the time we used to stream this game quite regularly over on twitch and i am planning on maybe doing it once a month uh with the mischief mod or something similar there's the courier satchel we're after uh because that does always bring a lot of chaos and always goes over quite well uh with my twitch audience as well for those unfamiliar the mod itself is where you can spawn in zombies uh basically kinds so all sorts of different chaos there's uh giant vultures there's flying dogs there's so many different things that you can do and uh yeah it always goes over really really well not sure how the new twitch integration with seven days works as of yet so that maybe could be something we'll check out on a stream but again i've mentioned uh the stream a few times i am streaming twice a week over on twitch uh twitch.tv forward slash j bolson 7 p.m uk start time uh at the moment we're playing telltale's walking dead uh, for the first time, so we're playing the first series of that. I do tend to play a kind of a variety of games over on the uh, on the Twitch there. So if you do feel free that you want to pop along and come say hi, then uh, please feel free to do so. It'd be pretty cool if you did that. So let's keep pushing forward. We've got what we came for, but we know there's going to be some good loot in here. And I'd imagine the further in we go, the more we will find. What have we got around here? I'm always paranoid there's someone behind me, but so far I'm, I'm I'm feeling a bit more confident today. We went into the shotgun place and uh, we got pretty lucky. With this one, I've kind of just come in and just casually, you know, talking away and shooting zombies and stuff. Not really too concerned. Oh, there's some medical supplies there. What have we got? Still no antibiotics. Are they like the hardest thing to find in this game now or something? I don't understand it. I can never seem to get any. We will take some mushrooms though because we can probably... Maybe start a garden at some point. Never thought I'd be doing that on insane mode, but here we are. Right, let's uh, push through this place. If I find the good loot, I'll bring you back. If there's nothing else of interest, I'll meet you back at base. But yeah, let me uh, kind of plod through this place and see what's going on. 
Okay, so there wasn't really anything else of note in that cave. Uh, maybe there's another area of it that I just couldn't find, but I didn't really find anything else. I did find when we dropped down where that little waterfall bit was, that it just brought us back out to the main area. So as far as I know, I've completely looted the place. So let's pop back now and see Trader Hugh, see what we're going to get for finishing this quest. I'd imagine at some point, now that we've uh, done quite a lot of level 1 quests, we will unlock the next one which upgrades to level 2, which I think also opens up a trade route. And then maybe there is another trader nearby who we can go and see and just keep an eye on what kind of stuff they've got. What have we got? I will take the 20 pipe bombs. That's not bad. Let us see your inventory. Oh, that's what we're here for. So, uh, day 10 it restocked. So let's head... Oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay, very, very happy with that. We were buying that. Antibiotics recipe... I unlocked the chemistry station in the last episode, or the one before, I can't remember. We still need to make that, but I think we can get all the stuff to make it. But thank God, we can finally make some antibiotics. That is going to make our lives so much easier. Whew, we're not going to die of infection, at least. We might die in some other stupid way, but we're not going to die from infection. I'm so happy with that. Right, what else have you got? Hugh, my friend, you have made my day, right? What else have we got going on here? Uh... Let's see, anything worth buying? That's for slugs, not going to worry about that right now. Pumpkin bread, I'm not going to worry about pumpkin bread. Uh, nope, none of that stuff. None of that stuff. Oh, the eggs might not be a bad idea. I know it's it sounds weird to buy eggs, right? But I can never find them in nests. Bacon and eggs is a great food to have, and I've got loads of meat, so I'm just going to do it. Ammunition, I feel like we've got plenty, so I'm not going to worry... Uh, too much about buying ammunition. I will sell you these though. And yeah, that's all. I'm gonna, you can have that jar and you can have that. May as well. Why not? Um, anything else? Perfect. Hugh? That's right. Do the math. You could have charged me double, buddy. I'm very happy. Let's read it. What do we need to make antibiotics? So, oh, can we make them in the fireplace? I didn't know that. That's handy. Moldy bread, nitrate, and boiled water. And that way, moldy bread, nitrate, murky water. Okay. We need to find some moldy bread. Surely that shouldn't be too difficult. I've probably got some lying around. Right, I'm going to head back to base, and I'm going to uh, see what I need to make a chemistry station, because at some point we're going to need to make one anyway for making gunpowder and stuff. But yeah, very happy. Oh, well, let me just check, actually, while we're here. I'm so I got so distracted by the antibiotics, I forgot to see if level 2 of the trade is unlocked as of yet. And there's an airdrop. God, it's all happening today. Right, what is, uh, jobs have you got? Nope, still no more. Do you know what? Never mind. Worry about that later. Let's go and, uh, check out this airdrop. God, I'm so distracted. Right, I'll meet you at the airdrop. Woo, very happy. What have we got? Ah. Uh, not a lot that is going to be great, if I'm honest. The airdrops aren't been brilliant recently. The, air the bellows, that's not bad, to be fair. The stone spear I'll never use. The food will come in handy, but we're doing okay for food. It just seems like you can't really get drops of antibiotics anymore. Unless it's just my luck. I'm not too sure. Right. Going to head back to base. I'm going to sort out my inventory, get a couple of things up and running, see what we need to make our chemistry bench. And I think we should probably build that as well as another forge down in our bunker. Right. So I will meet you back at the base. Okay, good news is, third forge has now been made. We're going to use that one to start making some cement. Bad news is, we haven't got everything we need to actually make a chemistry station, and we don't have any mouldy bread or things like that. So we've got to go out and kind of look for a bunch of things. I'm currently making enough forged iron, or at least getting enough iron in here so I can make enough forged iron so that I can make a start on the chemistry station. I believe you need 100 forged iron for that. And uh, we've got a couple of other bits and bobs. We're going to need some more acid. So basically the plan for the rest of the day is we're going to head out and loot a couple of homes and see what we can find. So while I leave those things cooking, I'm going to head back upstairs. I'm going to loot a couple of the nearby houses and uh, I'll show you what we find. If I find anything really cool, obviously I will uh, add it to the little clip here. So the next couple of minutes are probably going to be a montage of the stuff that I found. So wish me luck. Look at the weather out there. God, it got miserable. Oh, it's brightening up. This game's weird, man.
that was pretty much the day. We went round a couple of the houses, the neighbouring houses, the one that is opposite Trader Hugh and the one that is right next door. We did find some pretty decent stuff. This is essentially what we got, but still nothing in terms of antibiotics. The mouldy sandwich might come in handy if I uh, that helps us get mouldy bread. So if we, oh, we need 10 of them. Okay, this uh, antibiotics thing seems like it's going to be a bigger problem than I thought. I thought we were off to a great start with the recipe. Apparently not so much, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. We have survived another day, my friends. And just to show you, I always feel the need to do this. No deaths whatsoever. 238 zombie kills, so we're doing pretty well. And it is towards the end of day 10. So that is going to be all I have time for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. These last two have been a bit more truncated with a bit more just focused on action. We are going to get back to upgrading the base and we've also got another hard night to prepare for. Hopefully we're going to sort out this infection at some point as well. But again, we will worry about that later. But I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please consider giving it a like. And if you're not subscribed already, then please consider doing that also. We are on the road to 100 subs and we are doing pretty well. I'm very happy with the progress that we are making. If you're also interested in watching any of my streams over on Twitch, then I usually stream as soon as these videos have gone out, which is Thursdays and Sundays, 7 p.m. BST. The link is in the description. Head on over and say hi. We usually play more story-based games over there. And uh, yeah, the community is very, very friendly. We'd love to have you as part of it. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care.